We're each going to say our craziest theory. Okay. Okay. Ray is directly related to Salacious Crumb. <gasps> Whoa! Snoke is the stormtrooper who hit his head in episode four. <gasps> Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Star Wars The Last Jedi is out December 15th, and I think we've seen everything in terms of, like, trailers, TV... Well, we'll probably get, like, six more TV spots. Six between. more TV spots that'll <laughs> reveal the whole movie, <laughs> the internet will get furious, yeah. and we'll have to hear all about it. Joining me today is one of my favorite people in the, in the galaxy, Alex Backus. Hello. Comedian, actor, co-host of Black Series Rebels, mm -hmm. which I have been on. You have, multiple twice. times. Oh my gosh, I stole, I stole your, I killed you off on an I know, episode. You, you replaced me, I'm, now I'm looking for a new job. Yeah. So. Which is why I'm here, <laughs> we're just going to swap. It's going to come to my show. Wipe I'm gonna swap go, yep. shows. <laughs> <laughs> yep. um, but these guys are awesome, you should absolutely check them out. They have all this awesome merch which they've gifted me, which I just love. love yeah, we pieces. make these little pins for fun to help fund the show, so. Later in the show, we are going to have a force back moment with Carrie Fisher from 1990, so stick around for that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna do today is run down um, things that we know are going to happen mm. in The Last Jedi, but we don't know exactly where it's gonna go. Yeah. And we'll talk about what we hope is gonna happen, what's probably gonna happen, and what we really hope does not happen. Yes. So, first things first, we know that Ray and Luke are coming face to face. Yes. And it's probably not going to go as planned as they said. I think the, the, the line from Daisy that still resonates with me is this idea that when you meet your heroes, sometimes they don't live up to your expectations. Mm -hmm. And I'm very curious to see how that is gonna play out in The Last Jedi because we all have had 40, 50 years to be upset. I guess it was 40 or 30. I guess 40 years well, to be obsessed. Well, the first. Yes. Yeah. With this moment of what would Luke be like when he gets older, when he becomes as powerful. So I'm curious to see how Ray learns with the audience what he's like now. We're going to meet Luke, and he's going to be this, like, bummer of a Dude. hermit. And we're going to be like, this isn't our Luke. Grumpy this Luke. This is not our Luke. He's like going to be super depressed, Obi Wan Kenobi. Like if Obi Wan Kenobi had no positivity, no Alec Guinness charm, that's <laughs> going to be Grumpy Luke. We think it's about Rey learning to become a Jedi, but I think it's going to be more about her hope and her positivity teaching Luke to become a Jedi again. Ah. So that's that, I think because we keep talking about who's the last Jedi, who's this, who's that light dark balance, and there's something really powerful about the apprentice sort of bringing the master out from mm -hmm. maybe the, the shadow. So I think there's gonna be a little bit of that. I do think Ray's more powerful than we could possibly. I mean, we see her like yeah. crack the, uh, oh. I, I always wanna say the earth. Like the they're earth. always on the earth. <laughs> the earth. She's gonna crack yeah. Octo, the Octo. Oh, dude, his face. That was straight up like, out you go, get then, off my and island. And then there's the TV spot where he like screams in her face. He's like, yes. Ray, and you're just like, mm -hmm. Ugh. Are we really gonna go? full like i hate the phrase but gray jedi oh my gosh like, sorry if people out there love the phrase gray <laughs> jedi but i'm always kind of like what does that even mean like do we eat like that sounds like even more of a division of things i don't i don't, I don't know if this is a hot take because like the gray jedi thing is like such a debate on the internet but i just yeah. feel like it's kind of lazy yeah it's like a lazy solution to it's the like whole thing what what happens when you mix light and dark it's like oh it gets less dark for thousands of years like nobody figured out <laughs> yeah. that we can like combine yeah. the bad and the good and yes. make something that's like yes. pretty decent what's uh, one thing with that with those two what's one thing that if it happened you'd be really disappointed or just like angry in general oh i'm sorry but i think i'm gonna light your comments up if ray and kylo end up in a relationship <laughs> oh. i'm gonna be really upset and, oh, it, and it's not like oh how dare you put romance into star wars it's just that would feel like a complete just throwing force awakens in the garbage mm -hmm. like the last we know that this movie is a puzzle piece it fits right on top of force awakens right. and the last time they saw each other she almost killed him spoiler alert he murders his father in front of her yeah oh and his and like who was like her father yeah figure. who was like her father figure oh and his like semi-nazi organization like blew up a yeah an entire galaxy and it's very that would be very like uh, stockholm syndrome yeah like. two weeks two weeks later she's like 
Yeah, I'm cool. We cool, we're cool. Fist bump, and now they're going I see on the an good adventure. In you and like, that doesn't you're mean I. You're kind of easy on the eyes as well. Yeah, that, that doesn't mean I don't see a future where they're in some way related. I personally think it'll probably be through genes and genetics. I think they're either cousins or siblings ah. or something along those lines. Again, I don't read any of this. I'm totally like spoiler free, so I'm yeah. not. I'm just theorizing, but. If that happens, I'll be thrilled. If they just end up in a relationship for the sake of, wouldn't it be cool if the the girl who's full of hope gets into the guy that's full of darkness? I'd be like, eh, okay. My biggest thing that I would hate so much is if Luke turned to the dark side. Yeah, because that's, that's up there. I feel like we have been through this whole journey with this guy. We went through the original trilogy with him. Mm -hmm. He has been tested so many times and he is just, you know, yeah. unbreakable i understand that he's been questioning everything about himself and and kylo ren turned on him and then he went to octo and was like i have to rethink my whole life and i don't know if i you know i i think the jedi needs to end i messed up yeah but i don't think that he would go dark yeah and i think again it's like we that would be a complete just throwing away what happens in return of the right. jedi Can he goes imagine? all the way to the edge that's the whole point it's right. like he's hitting vader ah and vader's like ah don't kill me kid and then the then vader gets up and he's like no i won't do it he throws his saber i'm a jedi like my father yeah. before me that's like i'm a jedi like my father before me until things get worse and then i'm like <laughs> yeah. i'm going dark baby it's like you've, yeah. had, you've had the ultimate test and then <laughs> yeah. he would go back and watch the original trilogy and be like well this is crazy but like it's gonna get worse for him and he's gonna go dark and mm -hmm. like I don't know. We just start to like retcon and like pick apart moments where we'd be like, oh, here's where he almost died. And dead. that being said, I will always die on the sword of in Ryan we trust. So if in he Ryan can do trust. if he can do any of this stuff in a way that surprises me and awes me, then I won't care. But we've had so much time to think about what could happen if it's just like Luke's bad now. I'll be like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we're yeah. in trouble. I, I hope for the love of God we like this movie because he's doing like a whole nother trilogy after. So I mean, that has to be the ultimate stamp of approval, right? <laughs> right. Like you don't give somebody a ton of jobs when they did a bad job. <laughs> you would assume yeah. that they're like, this is pretty good. Do you think we're going to find out parentage in, in, in The Last Jedi? Yes. In The Last Jedi? Yes, 100%. I think we're going to find out parentage in The Last Jedi. Who do you think, if you had to guess, do you think it's like... We've never met them in the world. It doesn't matter. It's somebody we know. Um, I have a bet with a friend. Okay. And I'm probably going to lose this bet, but I think Han and Leia are her parents. Why do you think that? Well, there's a couple of things. Um, one, I think that adds a really amazing dynamic between Kylo and her, which is clearly the thing they're playing up. Like, what, what stakes are as high as he's your father? It's like, oh... He's your brother. Oh, and by the way, he murdered your father in front of you and you had no idea. Or you at least were unaware of what was happening. Also, why is the Falcon just parked on Jakku? And right when they get out of orbit, Han's just like, oh, hey, what's up? Here's a blaster. You want to be my co-pilot? Like, those are not Han Solo traits. Han, after five minutes, doesn't go, you seem like a nice person. Would you like to join the crew? Do you know what I mean? So they're, they're just... To me, it always kind of felt like Han is just being the Obi-Wan of Force Awakens. Hmm. He's looking after this person. Maybe but Han has just like softened crazy. his ways over the years, and he's kind of last of this ussing Rey. He's like taking her in <laughs> she, totally. to fill the void of that his could, lost child. That absolutely could be the case. And I think if that is the case, then I hope that she is either a product of the Force, like Anakin. I don't know how I would feel about her just being nobody, because then why does that lightsaber call to her? Yeah. Like, why make such a big deal of it? And then why the Maz Kanata moment? Who's the girl? And then they cut away. <laughs> like, if she's nobody, why cut away? Why cut away, Why yeah. not just say, I don't know, some lady who stole my ship, and now I, I have it back. And she seems like she's really nice, though. I might give her a job. Will it work out? Probably not. And I'm probably going to lose that bet. But I just feel like I want that moment that is as impactful as I am your father, but not as obvious as Luke saying to Ray, I'm your father. Right. Star Wars is at its best when it's simple. Yeah. When you don't need to read 15 books and play all the games and watch all of the animated series. Like, I always go to that, that Ezra being Snoke theory. Could you imagine no. if during that movie, Snoke looks like super intense and goes, 
I was once a Jedi, Ezra Bridger. <laughs> and like the, everyone in the theater except for four people would be like, who? <laughs> like four people would be like, yes, I watch Rebels. I get that. So it's not that I don't love Rebels. It's yeah. just the, the, the movies need to stand alone I as pieces you. of cinema. Someone needs to be able to walk into Last Jedi and go, I can watch this without seeing any other episodes of Star Wars. You can watch Empire Strikes Back without seeing A New Hope and still think it's an awesome movie. Right. I think the Easter eggs are nice where you're like, oh my god, like there's Chopper in Rogue One yes, or whatever. Perfect. But that's perfect. But when they have and then they call like a hero over the And that made the internet go nuts. So that's great. Perfect. But yeah, if they like had her walk in and be like, I'm Hera, I'd be like, no. I'm Hera Sandula. You can catch me once a week on Disney XD. <laughs> like, ooh, ooh this is really, really forced. <laughs> what a plug. <laughs> really forced. Oh boy. That's it, everybody. Everybody have a good night. Yeah. Everybody yeah. have a good night. <laughs> I want to talk about uh, Finn and Phasma as well, because we know yes. that they have this, like, crazy showdown mm -hmm. that kind yeah. of looks like it's, like, at the culmination of the movie. Like, things yeah. are, like, buckling around Where, them Whatever and... they're on, whatever ship or base yeah. is not having a good day. I think one of them will go down in that battle. Ye Ooh. I know, that, like, I don't feel like they're both going to be, like... All right, let's get out. Like, we're both going to jump yes. on our respective ships and get mm -hmm. out of here in the nick of time. The only way I will be okay if Finn goes is he has to have his reunion with Rey. Yes. If they, he can't die. You can't open the movie, like, because we've seen in an, another random trailer, it's like, where's Rey? Yeah, that's he all can't he say where, about. Yeah, he can't say, where's Rey, not see her, and then die. Like, you must have a million questions. And he's like, no, nah, just, where's Rey? <laughs> One final thing here is the Porg. Yes. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a member of Porg Nation. Good, good. Everyone should join. It's just you just use the hashtag Porg Nation on Twitter and uh, you're a member. And that's I, all you got to do. I think that the Porg is very telling of what a good storyteller Ryan Johnson is. And I know you're like, what? Why does the Porg do that? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm thinking. It's because I think they're Chewie's service animal. They're so cute. That little guy in the Falcon is how he loses his best friend. But then he like... <laughs> Yeah, well, that's just like, hey, man, stop it. We're in a battle. Like, <laughs> it looks super aggressive, but I guarantee you that Porg probably gets up and goes, <laughs> I know, and he's probably, hops. like, trying to push the button. Yeah, the he probably hops like, back up it. there. Yeah. Because I always thought, I was like, oh, this is, like, his little buddy that he takes along. Oh, for but sure. But then he's like, Phew. I think that's, like, that's, like, like, get out of the way. No, that's, like, that's no different than, like, C-3PO bunking R2. Like, ah, I wish out. there was, like, a live stream of my face when I saw that for the first time. The, 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 that TV the spot hit? that came out of nowhere and everyone was like tagging me in it. They're like, have you that seen this? That was the like, Thanksgiving one. I was like, Pfft. yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I love that it instantly was like, that just goes to show you how lovely and how terrible the internet, internet can be all at the same time. They were like, oh yeah, let's show this to Ash. That'll really hurt her feelings. It's like, oh guys, please just chill on the porgs. They're just, uh, they're just penguins. It's not. They're just, yeah, they're just little like puffin inspired. You think they'll have names? This is, oh my gosh, I've been talking about this for so long, and I, I cannot get an answer out of anybody. Do the Porgs have individual names? I'll ask you this, because okay. I'm very curious. Do you think any Porgs will get harmed? That, that, assuming that that hit isn't a harmful move. I just, I worry about my own mental health if a Porg gets eaten in The Last Jedi, because people will... Man. I'm going to have to, like, deactivate my Twitter account if that happens. I guess I just don't see a world where in the trailer they have this, like, triumphant Wookiee roaring Porg. And then Chewie's like, that was really cute. I'm going to eat you now. Yeah, he's like, Ugh. I think that that, f that feather thing on his mouth was a, is like he was probably flying around causing a ruckus. And they were like, you know what would be funny? Put it on his mouth for the behind the scenes so people will think that Chewie eats a Porg. Yeah. If they were smaller, I'd be like, oh, Chewie's just, like, puts it in his mouth, and they're like, spit it out, Chewie, and he's like, Pleh. Yeah. But I don't think that. They're too big. Maybe it was just a kiss. Maybe it was like, hey, we're buddies. Maybe that's the romance. <laughs> weird. <laughs> too weird. Which I, brings us to our force back moment of the week um, with the amazing Carrie Fisher. Um, from 1990, we're digging into our E.T. vault. And uh, she's got a lot to say about Princess Leia, the character. So take a look. Oh, I mean, some people, times people to get me to turn around. Hey, Princess Leia. Like I'm going to, you know, be so on. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, people, my grandmother named her dog Princess Leia. 
and it was subsequently hit by a car. So I have other connotations that can kind of <laughs> permeate it that are not as pleasant. But I mean, I like it all right. I don't like after 30, which I now am. This is the after 30 part. I don't like being called Princess Leia in airports and stuff. But that probably won't stop anybody. Miss Fisher would do? No. Stretch. I'd like, a, I'd like a nickname at this point. This clip made me wonder if when she got cast for Force Awakens, if she was like, hey, JJ, I'll be back in your movie, but I'm never going by Princess Leia ever <laughs> again. You better change me to general. <laughs> Maybe. I could see that. Like, mm, she would be like a general by now. <laughs> yeah. Right? She's not the princess anymore. But isn't that technically a step down? <laughs> like, right? royalty to leader of the military. I guess it's, you're in more, probably, I guess, more power if princess is just sort of pomp and circumstance. Like, yeah. it's just like, I'm a princess. But we know that that's not all Leia. I never really viewed her as like a hoity-toity princess. I took it no. as like, no, she's like a warrior from Alderaan, but they call the princess is just like, yeah, it's, like, name. it's not the princess in yeah. the sense that like we view it here yeah. on Earth in the galaxy far, far away. It's like a prestigious title, yes. and you wield a weapon. Yeah, and you go, you're in the trenches. Mm -hmm. And I think that I, that's why I don't think it ever really threw anybody off to call her general. It's like, okay, yeah, she's General Leia yeah. now. Whatever, it doesn't matter. She's always except gonna... Lord Santeca. Yeah, he's like, yeah, she's she's royalty. <laughs> Lord Santeca, like afterwards, posed like, hey, by the way, she really prefers general. That's what we didn't <laughs> see. He's like, nope, to me, she's royalty. Yeah, he's like, we got company. Runs out and comes back, and he's like, by the way, by the way, don't say that in front uh, of her. Don't say that in front of her. Call, it's a it's a little dismissive <laughs> when you call her princess now. And he's like, well, I'm old. <laughs> uh, I can't wait to see her. What like I've, we've seen a couple of her hairstyles, but that's like the thing that Carrie Fisher was always just like, I hate my hairstyle. In every single yes. movie. I think she looks awesome in Last Jedi, though. Oh my gosh. The like really ornate, beautiful, her, yeah. Her the high collar. Scary, like, what's that store? All Saints? You know, All Saints? Yeah. It's like All Saints clothes. It's like, like British goth. It's like, oh, I just went to All Saints and I got this really high trench. <laughs> That's how, like, I aspire to dress every day. It's like, it's high like, trench. It's kind of like the, um, like the turtle. Like, you can just, like, yes. Her. Because she could be in a meeting and be like, you know what? I yes. don't want to talk. <laughs> yeah, they're like, uh, what do you think we should do in regards Where'd to she your... go? Yeah. <laughs> Guy, did you hear your son killed Han Solo? <laughs> just like, anytime things get rough, she just ducks into she her just little ducks cowl. into her, into her, <laughs> <laughs> into her collar. I love it. Well, I want to thank you so much for coming by. Thank you for having I'm so me. I'm glad we've got to collab on uh, this side. Mm -hmm. And actually, I will be on your show on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... We're going to be doing... A very similar thing, except yeah. way less professional and way more Wayne's Worldy, and it's gonna be. Wee, 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 wee. There probably be some pajamas and poor, like we're just gonna be. My, we're just gonna sleep from. Are we from, wearing pajamas? I mean, I'm planning on it because oh. as soon as that's done, I'm going social media dark. I'm going. To, I'm going dark too. I'm gonna sleep until Thursday. I'm gonna sleep until I see the movie at seven. And you've got your tickets and everything. Oh come on! I got the whole week. I got. Yeah. The, I, I mean, we're. I we're, got the whole weekend. Yeah, we're. I'm all planned out. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, since we will be going social media dark, yeah. um, you guys can tweet us and we'll read them all when we come back, I guess, after everybody sees The you Last Jedi. You can tell us Jedi. how wrong we were this and, entire Yeah, episode. you can tell us everything that we got right and wrong. I think we probably got everything right. Um, but, yeah, tell everybody where they can, they can find you. You guys can find me on Twitter at my personal Twitter handle, at Alex underscore Bacchus, or you can find Black Series Rebels at BLK Series Rebels. We're also on YouTube. You can subscribe, do all that good stuff. And you can find me at Ash Crossan and come back here every Thursday for a new episode to talk about likely Star Wars. <laughs> uh, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what your craziest Last Jedi theory is. And, uh... We'll talk about it. I'll see you guys next time.